and welcome to the Striker Balance podcast for working homeschool moms. This is Charlotte Jones, homeschool coach and homeschooling mom of twin boys. I know it can feel really overwhelming to keep all the balls in the air all the time. So each week I chat about tips and strategies for being a happy and thriving working homeschool mom that you can implement in your life too. I also speak to awesome and inspiring women who manage to juggle homeschooling and work successfully and find out what their secrets are. Be sure to check out my Working Homeschool Mom Magic Mindset Challenge in the show notes and sign up to my newsletter for lots of cool homeschool freebies. And if you ever need to chat, please book in a session with me. I'm so excited for you to be here and I hope you'll get so much value out of this episode. So let's get started. everyone, Charlotte here. Today I wanted to talk about some ways to save time while homeschooling as a working homeschool mom. We only use online programs and for this very reason, because they save so much time and they make life so much easier. Um, and I just wanted to chat about some of the reasons why we really prefer homeschooling online. So obviously being a working homeschool mom is a balancing act. There's always so much to do. So for me, simplifying is so important. Simplifying and saving time and also saving money, let's be honest. I find online programs are useful in so many ways. So first of all, you often get a free trial, which is fantastic because you can really see if it's something that you like to do. Because Many people buy very expensive curricula and then they realize that they don't like them or that they're not working for the family. So if you get to do a free trial, then at least you know that the program is going to work for you and your family. One of the most important things or the best things, I guess, really about online programs is that the lessons are prepared for you. So it saves so much time. A lot of them are often plug and play or you might have to do a placement test. But after that, everything is done for you. And the good programs are adaptive as well. So they will change as the needs of your children change. So you don't need to buy new things. You don't need to buy new books. You don't need to buy new manipulatives, for example. Another really fantastic thing about online programs is that they encourage independent learning. And this is definitely first prize for a working homeschool mom. So ideally, you eventually want your kids to be able to work on their own because obviously that frees up so much time for you. And uh, I found that even though my kids do still need some support, they definitely are becoming more independent. And uh, if they know a program, then they're able to just go there, do whatever they need to do for the day, and then that's done. So I think um, it's a really great way to encourage independent learning. So online programs obviously save money. We could all do with saving money, obviously, because as I said before, often people buy will buy a curriculum that doesn't work for them. And then they feel tied to that curriculum because they've spent a lot of money on it. Um, and it could cause children to become reluctant. If you have an online program, often they are much less costly and you can easily change. So I think that's absolutely fantastic. Another thing which is great is that online programs are very flexible. So this is great in a lot of ways. I mean, I'm a big, as you probably know, a big fan of flexibility. And that's why being a working homeschool mom, flexibility is incredibly important. So this flexibility can be useful for kids working at their own pace, which I definitely need as my kids have special needs. And also, and also the work can be taken anywhere. So Learning can work around your schedule, especially if you have quite a rigid work schedule. It can work around your schedule or if you have to go places or on holiday or things like that. It really gives so much flexibility. And the good programs will have apps, obviously, so they can be used on phones or on tablets and things like that. Another big time saver is that, once again, most of the good programs will have reports that can be printed off or downloaded. So you don't need to worry about compiling reports or you can take the information already done off the report, which is a big time saver. And it also saves a lot of stress. They're usually very official looking. They're very 
professional looking. So it's good if you have to prove the hours that you're doing with your kids and things like that. Another great thing that I love is that you can see what your children are doing on the program. Once again, this is for most of the good programs. They will track the time spent on the program. They will track what your kids did, things like that. So you can see where they are maybe struggling or maybe where they've spent time on things that they enjoy. So it's, it's very useful information and also, once again, encouraging independent learning, which, like we said, is definitely the first prize. Many of the online programs are really effective, so they only have to be used for a few minutes a day. Uh, I know quite a few programs like that, maximum 20 minutes. So that cuts down on learning time as well. As I've spoken about before, your kids don't need to be learning for eight hours a day. So they can effectively learn something in a short period of time. And it's great for concentration and also often because the programs are able to incorporate multimedia. I mean, there's music, there's animation and things like that. They're also very engaging. I think that's also what makes them so, so effective. And lastly, I would say by choosing an online program, you let the experts do the heavy lifting. The programs that are out there today are fantastic because they are created by educators. They're created by experts. You know that your kids are going to be learning a lot. They're going to be learning effectively. They're going to be learning uh, the right stuff. So Yes, I absolutely think that online programs are the best. We, like I said, we only use online programs and it has done so much to save time, to save stress, so that I can concentrate on all the other things that I need to do in my life as well. And as you know, as a working homeschool mom, that is a lot of stuff. I really hope you enjoyed the episode today. Drop me a DM on Instagram or post on the Working Homeschool Mom support group over on Facebook. And let me know what resonated the most with you. It would also be great if you could rate, review and subscribe or share the podcast with a working homeschool mom who might need it. Until next time, take care. Welcome to the Striker Balance podcast for working homeschool moms. This is